Stock investing is a well-liked strategy for people to accumulate wealth over time. Stocks, usually referred to as shares or equities, signify ownership in a business and can generate income through dividends, capital growth, or a combination of the two. However there are hazards associated with stock investing, so before making any judgments about your investments, it's crucial to understand the fundamentals. Why should I buy stocks? Before we start, we would like to extend a warm welcome to our channel Prosperity Pathway. We're thrilled to have you here and hope that our content will inspire you to achieve your goals and live a fulfilling life. Our channel is dedicated to providing you with informative and practical tips on personal growth, career development, financial management, and more. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on a journey toward prosperity and success together. The possibility for large returns is one justification for stock investments. In the past, equities outperformed other asset types like bonds or real estate in terms of average returns. However it is crucial to take into account the dangers, prior performance is not a guarantee of future outcomes. Possessing a share in a firm is another benefit of investing in stocks. When you purchase stock in a firm, you take a partial ownership interest in it and get control over how it is run. Additionally, this ownership may have advantages like dividend payments or voting rights on significant business decisions. The dangers of stock investment before making any investment decisions, it is crucial to be informed of the hazards associated with stock investing. Stock investing carries a number of hazards, such as 1. Stock values can change considerably over brief periods of time due to stocks' extreme volatility. If you sell your shares during a slump, this volatility could result in large losses. 2. Company-specific risks, investing in a single company can be dangerous because the company's success may be impacted by management choices, competition pressures, and legislative changes, among other things. 3. Market risks, investing in equities entails market risks since economic and geopolitical developments might have an impact on the performance of the stock market as a whole. 4. Risks associated with liquidity include the possibility that some equities will be more difficult to buy or sell rapidly than others. 5. Scams involving investments, investors should be on the lookout for fraudulence involving investments, such as Ponzi schemes and penny stock promotions. Tips for investing in stocks There are numerous methods for purchasing stocks, including 1. Individual stocks, via a brokerage account, investors can buy stock in certain companies. This strategy necessitates thorough investigation and examination of specific businesses and their financial results. 2. Index funds are exchange-traded funds, ETFs, or mutual funds that follow a particular market index, like the S&P 500. For investors who don't want to buy individual equities, these funds offer diversification across a variety of businesses and may be a viable option. 3. Mutual funds. Mutual funds are professionally managed investment portfolios that pool money from many investors to purchase a diversified mix of stocks and other securities. 4. Robo-advisors. Robo-advisors are automated investment platforms that use algorithms to build and manage investment portfolios for clients. 5. Direct Stock Purchase Plans, DSPPs, DSPPs allow investors to purchase shares directly from a company, often with lower fees than purchasing through a brokerage. Advice for successful stock investing Being effective at investing in stocks requires that you 1. Diversify your portfolio, by distributing your investments across several businesses and industries, diversification can help to lower risks. 2. Long-term investing is recommended since stock market changes might be unpredictable in the near term. 3. Before making an investment, thoroughly investigate the company to have an understanding of its financial performance, market position, and growth potential. 4. Do regular portfolio monitoring to make sure that your investments are in line with your financial objectives and risk tolerance. 5. Avoid investing emotionally. Investing decisions shouldn't be influenced by feelings of greed or fear. In conclusion, Stock investing carries dangers that should be taken into account before making any investment decisions, but it can also result in potential rewards and ownership in firms. It's crucial to diversify your holdings, hold investments for the long term, research companies, keep an eye on your portfolio, and stay away from investing emotionally if you want to be a successful investor. We appreciate you watching this video and hope you found it interesting and useful. Please consider subscribing if you like this article in order to receive updates on our new insights and articles. We once again appreciate your time and interest in stock investing.